It's looking pretty good. I just don't know what uh, the I'm the who. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's looking really good. I just don't know what the I'm the who. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Cecil here, bringing a video here today. I bring us episode number fourteen of Readers on Your Products, where I where I read on your projects. Duh. Anyway, we have two really cool products. One is going to be like an event slash invitation poster. And the other one's going to be like a cool anime header, which I know you guys are going to love. I hopefully, I, I had a lot of fun with these products. Please just trust the process. This is, this was, I, I gotta just, it has to become like a little subtext, like in the blot. Like it's trust the process, enjoy it. You're going to see some stuff, learn some stuff and just enjoy some guy going into Photoshop and redesigning someone else's project. Enjoy. Also, also I got a dog. Look at him. You know what his name is? I love you too. His name is Adobe with like an IE though. It's Adobe. Don't sue me. Um, look at the look at so cute he is. Look at this little puppy. Okay, now I'll do the video. You know, you, you said, he said, he said, press like, please. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start off with Curry D's Team Fight Tactic poster, which seems like it's hosting an event at a certain date and kind of has this more like invite-esque idea to it appeal right when i look at this though i see a lot of issues with the actual spacing and the kind of like it doesn't feel very inviting it feels more just like an information blast and then you kind of see the game as like the main point of interest however i feel i want to switch this i want to make the actual game the most important part and then add the information as to like feeling more invited and add the, how else do you say this I don't know, but let's just see what we do. Okay, so first things first is I really like this sort of island kind of asset here. I think it was a brilliant asset. It's a little bit weirdly erased down here. I'm gonna kind of fix this a little bit. And realistically, by fixing it, I kind of just mean making sure I kind of add like more sharp corners. Like it feels like a rock and not like it's low quality, right? And why now we'll add a little bit of sharpen from the camera raw filter as well. And a little bit of noise reduction, as you guys can see, if you look at the flag for like instance here, I feel like it looks a little more clear. If the flag looks clear, that means the entire image looks a little bit more clear. Now is the, the composition part. Obviously starting off with putting in the actual game heading in here. Now for the record, I would always say never use sensor inside on your, uh, your image here unless it's like a vectored image of a logo that way it's more cleaner because right now the the, the the strokes make it look really awkward in the actual center so i'm gonna say outside make it a little more cleaner and then i also might ask myself do i even want it like low-key probably not like that right there is clean on its own it feels a lot like lc or like a riot-esque appeal then obviously want to add in next is like the hex cup like the sort of actual sort of tournament itself right now i'm finding myself to have a lot of like sort of struggle with actually fitting these two things in here and making sure they kind of feel important so i'm going to move the actual island down a little bit more just like so give myself more space i'm making it bigger now and kind of there we go then you know don't if you see an issue you should fix it and don't keep trying to like you got this is the start okay in this team fight tactic game there's like eight different perspectives or like 14 different people playing the same exact thing so adding in more islands is probably not a bad idea in here so making it more dynamic this way can be a really cool way to kind of fill up some space something like this maybe right now doing that for sure opens up an idea that we need to add some shadows so i'm gonna not i'm not gonna forget about it and like do it trying to later i'm gonna just do it right away i'm gonna add some shadows in here making sure i actually shape the shadow a little bit of how like the actual island feels so like obviously right here at the end it's very sort of like kind of cut off pretty quick so i'm gonna make sure i cut that off nice and quick right there okay so real quick little shadows there we got we got all that good stuff looking right in my opinion right so next is i think adding in some of these characters or should i actually do the information first i think so so like this logo right here is kind of important this date is obviously important and the participants and the location pretty important right let's take all this stuff move it in here for a second also i just kind of want to say this was any, does anyone else feel like they've seen this logo at least 40 times in any spot ever i'm just saying i don't know but like i'm not gonna say anything but like I don't know about all that. Now, what about this actual kind of like date and stuff? Do I put this up here? Right, you want people to kind of come because like, you know, it's it's a popular thing. You want people to be like, ooh, there's actually a lot of people here. I can beat somebody's, you know, competitive, right? So right here, I think this looks pretty good. So having the, the, the kind of location on this side, I have the date on the right side, something like this. And I think that's, it's not that bad. I wanna make the kerning of this a little bit lighter. So a little bit tighter, excuse me. Something like that, right? Boom. So all the information is like front and center. We have like team fight tactics, 96 participants, and like obviously the subtext you can read on your own if you wanna participate, right? So we got all the, the clear identity stuff there. Um, it all kind of feels a little bit congested, congested on the top. Is that a congest? Hmm congested there we go at the top so i'm gonna move this down once again i think this is what i want okay so now it comes to like making this more fun 
right i feel like the background that he has is actually really cool so i'm actually gonna take it real quick now the bottom half isn't actually of course filled in because it's, it's not big enough so we're gonna take this we'll do a nice little camera let's do a fill and then content aware boom and let's see what we get let's just roll the dice ah, i'm okay with that like it doesn't look that bad looks pretty good looks like an ex actual extension i'm uh i'm okay with that the, the purple's a little heavy here if i'm gonna be honest so maybe there's a universe where we just kind of like take a duplicate of it move it down like so take an eraser and or just, take, just erase the top low key right uh, dude Ta -da! okay so that looks good now i see why i had a stroke around this team fight tactics it's a little bit awkward because of the contrast right a yellow and pink don't really make too much sense how do i see this happening what do i see do i just erase it like that like who says we have to have this really cool sky there right like low key we can we can we can make the call to say like goodbye you know now we can do it kind of pretty and make sure if we kind of like only hit around like that Ooh, <laughs> why did i make that sound but like low key that's actually fire like uh, why do i i always feel like i always erase the entire thing but why do i start i don't mentally think to kind of like erase the center only like boom you know what i mean like who's stopping me from doing that it feels more holy and grand i like that approach i'm to i'm gonna steal that for myself <laughs> okay so we did that so we got it we got all that in there now this little uh what is this even called loki i don't even know why this is here why it's called what, uh, what it's called but it does kind of help sort of like frame the logo of team fight tactics and kind of hold it up somehow i don't know that's kind of how i mentally see it so if i move this over now right let me get an issue of like where this is okay where where does this go can we just make the call and not even put it there let's just like let's just not even put it there i don't know why it's there per se but like whatever okay so now we have these little sort of minions in, in the game and it kind of looks pretty cool but i had my own in the downloads folder right it's these three little guys now these, these guys are super cute now I, I like his but they feel sort of like don't really play with the actual scene so i'm gonna take this now I'll, I'll ooh, oh. he's on his own island so low key we could put him like back here oh stop playing with me yo that's kind of sick okay wait can i find another one where they're on the actual like thing okay so not really but i found this guy okay now he's kind of cute and whatnot but he's also flying i just want to make sure they kind of feel like they're flying in a way so not putting everything in behind or in front but sometimes layering things on top could also be the play like how big is he gonna be i'm not too sure however this little interaction here where he's kind of like not inside this border right here makes it feel more like you know not in you know trapped right so i'm gonna take this make a shadow as well and i think we're okay with that so i like that guy now i have a few other guys too right i got this little cutie right here i think this guy is just asking to be like front and center like look how cute i am like we right he's flying over which means he's gonna he's gonna be casting some kind of shadow too nothing too crazy it just kind of casts a little bit of like depth in that sense but I like how that looks, just like so, right? It's just like, ooh, fun world. Look at this guy over here doing this, you know, that kind of thing. I think this guy also, though, needs to be levels. Let's just kind of like lower him down, like make him a little bit darker, kind of fits in. Right, I think something like that makes sense. And then if we take this levels, uh, fortunately for us, I guess, or maybe unfortunately, who knows? I, I don't, I suck at like shadows and stuff like that. But like this right hand side is getting casted by some kind of light source. So I'll take this actual levels over here and kind of match that idea. Kind of erase where we just put that levels on. It makes it more brighter on this side. Maybe yeah, the same idea needs to happen over here as well. So I'm gonna take a curves, move this up like this, then just erase the entire right hand side only to only show this kind of nice. Kind of glow on this right hand side right okay so i'm oh, okay okay this is looking way better than i thought <laughs> what if we go back over here maybe take this person over here right kind of feel like this person could be pretty good if we take her and shrink her down and kind of like put her right in the middle here something like this to kind of draw all these things in together it's feeling a little bit kind of right heavy action if i do that maybe something like that putting her over here in this little corner right here right so i think now we just pretty everything up maybe something like over here with this text just giving it a little more depth with some inner shadow right there like that right maybe a little shimmy with this inner glow with this really cool little contour on half round right we lower this down a little bit like so it kind of feels like it's shimmering a little bit and i think as well making this 96 a little bit more kind of like uh more apparent in the actual graphic because i think most of the times this kind of graphic and event kind of stuff should also be in the copy of the tweet meaning like the actual text so we don't have to like really you know relay information or echo information over and over again so something like this if they want to see it, they can see it in here but realistically i think this uh allows to bring more kind of focus to 96 participants but do i also think this should be orange Ooh, ooh, huh uh-huh 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 mm -hmm. yo i'm not gonna lie guys which one do you like better the black or this i think i might lead with this but I, low key i can't tell if it, if it loses focus off of team fight tactics 
but like is it a bad thing that we're putting focus on 96 participants because then it kind of feels like this whole logo which kind of feels a little bit awkward maybe i don't know i think that might make more sense actually maybe like this whole thing should be this color right here right i think so i feel like adding that kind of color theory may, may make it feel a little bit better taking this real quick adding a nice little glow right on the top right here i like how that feels touched up just a little bit more and i'm gonna go ahead and throw this all into a camera roll filter now i think some of these blues in here need to be kind of portrayed a little bit better so heightening that up putting the luminance up for that too makes it feel more magical and mystical and all that good stuff making sure that green feels nice and lively and uh honestly i think we're done to be honest i think this is good no so with that actually i'll put the before and after of the one i created and of course the one that curry d created and realistically it looks really freaking good so honestly i think we kind of portrayed the idea we wanted in the beginning which is kind of making sure the actual environment felt more inviting and then the information is then digested i feel like before curry kind of went more the idea of making sure the information was there present big and all that good stuff but low-key i feel like the text matter distracted the actual overall graphic a little bit and uh it comes it comes out a little bit overwhelming in a way but kind of echoing what i just said this one kind of says like yo this is team fight tactics this really cool pretty all, all like super dope world we got 96 participants team fight tactics look at the location the date and come through so i think this makes the most sense and i think we did pretty good you guys let me know i, I if you guys don't like this one i'm confused i don't know what else i would do maybe some shadow work maybe like maybe i don't know but you guys let me know okay so let's move on to the next one and uh we'll call this one done okay okay so the last part that we're doing today is a demon slayer header you guys know i love just doing these anime headers and i i saw this one designed by marius marius mar marus maris Maurice, it's Maurice. It has to be Maurice. Regardless, this person did a lot of work. And let me just show you guys. So I was kind of going through because I wanted to grab the you know assets. If I go through all of this stuff, literally all of it is like like completely different things. Insane. So I of course already put in I kind of went ahead and like took all the different assets, and all of these assets are literally just the the middle. So like crazy. I saw this and I was like, I want to do something with it. I like the idea of like this type heavy stuff. I like the idea of using like a, a nice contrasty color, like yellow, like ridiculously contrast. But I, if I'm being honest here, I have no idea what to do. So first things first, of course, is basically taking this image and making sure we clean it up a little bit. Boom. Now we're good. So now we got a more clean cut. Now I think this background here, though, however needs to be a little bit more toned uh, around the same color so i'm gonna go over here for a second take this guy out again i think matching the colors of this water is the biggest thing right so once i've done that i think we'll be okay so now comes the hard part because I, I still really don't know what i want to do the biggest struggle for me right now is like where does the color come in do i do i like put like a cool off tone color in the background like something like this right and then kind of work from there and kind of like do some weird y2k x anime kind of style or like i don't really know literally at all let's go ahead and actually expand on this kind of like cool water effect right so this water effect is actually pretty cool i think it's just a little bit too organized i feel like water has this more you know disruptive kind of attitude it doesn't really have its own sort of path i kind of like that it feels a little bit unbalanced there i'll just move this into the right for a second so i'm like that looks pretty good okay so this right here this guy actually fell in love with too if i go over here i think moving this around kind of like making sure this kind of feels more like a circular around the person right put this guy behind here i think some little issues here for me is like if i use a smudge tool we kind of take this and smudge it out like this it'll feel like mist right obviously it's a very obvious like hard um color period i don't know how else to say that like it's just like one solid color right so if i take the smudge tool though it can feel more like a mist kind of effect right something like that you know like who who says i can't do that maybe i'll do it for everything right that way we kind of have this sort of like compiled or completion look now that we have that though let's go ahead and add that text for a second now realistically this text here it's just like a body of text that kind of gives you a description i guess of who uh giyu is um i'm apologize if i'm saying his name wrong but right like i'm gonna say to myself like that looks okay however i want to break this up into a few different things now we kind of have like two different kind of bodies of text that we can play with right then we're kind of almost playing with this kind of like story thing i don't really know how to explain that i think we need to find like a really cool like sort of darkish edgy font something like this almost this like coral gothic kind of thing just not like maybe not that crazy though like i really do not know which one i want to kind of go with but let's just say we, we, we're gonna go with this for a second like where would i go after this is the question i asked myself right so we have this sort of like kanji don't really know what it says to be honest Mo most likely his name as well though but if i take this and use it for inspiration as well i really like how this kanji is kind of like lined up and looks so i'm gonna i'm gonna play around right and see what it looks like if i kind of just add this text 
in this fun way and also explore what different colors like this yellow or goldish kind of tone looks like like low key this yellow is pretty freaking dope right it looks better almost to me than this kind of bluish tone i tell myself we use this color okay and we find this really good mix some like this color right here feels a little more darker tone of the color just kind of makes it feel a little more something maybe we put it in his name as well however besides using it in english sorry i pray that it translates correctly but this name in the kanji as well okay so this is what it's giving me like i i, I hope this translation is somewhat correct i mean now realistically this these words really they're really not that like seen um i'm not too worried about it though i'm gonna kind of say to myself okay i'm down for it let's just see what happens next when i just keep on adding stuff because again i have no idea what i'm gonna do here so what if this blue had this sort of like goldish tone with it too kind of like you know compiling these two different colors together something like that maybe now i feel like that could be kind of cool if i take this lower this down a little bit does it look bad i'm gonna be honest i can't tell what if i just took some of this kind of other stuff over here and kind of like help this kind of like put together this left hand side a little bit more so taking this taking the color over here and i'll take this on this right hand side the same exact one he kind of had it duplicated and i'll just make sure i make this one like probably blue in this case right i don't, I don't want it to feel like too obvious because again i want the water to kind of feel sporadic in its own way right are we, are we getting somewhere i can't really tell i'm liking it but am i am i loving it no but let's just keep doing stuff this little sort of like gradient idea here kind of makes you feel like some kind of weird avatar state but also sort of like almost feels like you're kind of in the person's mind i feel like when you watch anime you kind of have this weird like a moment where it kind of goes to, to to like infrared or something like that right and it kind of looks like this do i then just go ahead and add the little blue tone into it as well something like that i'm kind of vibing with it though like without the blue it feels awkward so i think the blue needs to stay no matter what this up here is obviously annoying the heck out of me so i'm gonna erase this away uh waste a uh, waste it's away <laughs> erase this away now that kind of flows a little bit better oh do i like this hey yo do we like that uh, yo hold up also i just i actually added another gradient on top of it what the what is that yo happy little accidents if i add this to this one does it make it look whoa yo i'm so i'm so i am so lost i wish i was kidding i'm like i couldn't be any more lost than right here right now the inverse like infrared look is really cool but if i played out too much we lose a lot of the contrast the kanji around the actual sort of idea of the type texture right so i'm trying to figure out a way in my mental to like make it work does it make sense to do it you know what i mean um that's where i'm stuck at like i think one thing certain this guy needs to be blue that's that's for certain this guy is like so ugly i don't know how else to explain it but now i feel like it, it gives us an opportunity to then go back for a second and say to ourselves okay what does that gradient look like if it was just like that this gradient with a little bit more less like contrast makes a little more sense that way it sort of matches what i'm doing here like low key this this white it's making sense to me. We do have more of these like Y2K elements of like, you know, using sort of like, how do you say like squares and like the star kind of shapes and all that good stuff. I don't know about using like the squares in this case, right? I feel like it just feels a little bit too intrusive, a little bit too awkward. I actually have these Y2K stars, you know, I might've made a pack on my own in the, in the past, but some of these feel a little bit more sort of like ninja like uh, he's not a ninja but like you know it feels more anime-esque i'm gonna kind of put these around and see what we can find and feel and just to add a little bit of that y2k style that i feel like originally was here and just like that i added a few more stars around it kind of looked pretty nice right one right here 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 one down here looking kind of cool and one right here in this weird gray that i found on accident i really don't know about you guys but i feel as if i did something here i really feel like something happened something happened honestly to me this is what i was considering I, I think it makes i think i did and accomplished what i wanted to do there's definitely something that can happen though. i'm trying to figure out what it is maybe it's like a universe where like right now all these are just in that simple like one kind of tone grayish brownish kind of or, or goldish brownish kind of color what if instead it had like an angle so that there's all these different types of gradients of this color so it's not flat and that kind of brings more momentum or depth into the actual gold tone so i'm also thinking texture there's texture there's texture to be involved here this is kind of cool it's like a traditional japanese texture i'm let me if I, I it looks like water tell me the only one i want if i go here if this is also open like it's loading dude why why the one i want 
it has to disappear. Okay, so in this case, I need to just take this image, copy it, take it and paste it over here and see if I can just kind of make my own seamless pattern. Honestly, with texture just immediately like that, that looks really freaking cool. I don't know if you guys got me, but it looks really cool. Okay, so do I want to use this though? Like if I made a gradient like that, does it make it feel a little bit like designed? I think it does. I need another Japanese texture actually. Maybe something like this, like Japanese wave with uh, Sakura seamless pattern, download image for $15. So I don't know about you guys, this actually looks pretty cool. Honestly, the $14 just had to be, it just had to be, just, just, I had to spend it, right? So I think, I think, I think we're done. I don't know. So you know what? I'm just gonna say I am done. This is complete. I'm gonna put the before and after up right here, right now for my concept and Maurice's concept and just kind of like say to myself, I feel as if we explored the idea of this Y2K-esque element thing they had going on. He had like the sort of repeating rectangles, repeating triangles, subtext information, very small, all that stuff. And I feel like I just want to explore a little bit more and kind of like put all that stuff in there as well, but make sure it kind of feels more cohesive. And then I want to also make this kind of theme in the entire header, basically saying to ourselves, hey, he's like in this trans, we just got a little bit of information about this character and it kind of feels really cool and epic. I don't know if you guys feel what I'm trying to say there. Like, I really don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but who ever does i love you if you don't and you still think it's cool i still love it. if you don't think it's cool that's just what art is subjective so that's it that is the end of the video here today and that's all i have for you guys as well so if you guys ever want to participate in redesigning your videos go to discord.gg and basically go into where it says re redesigning put your post in there put your psd in there and i can take it i'll explore it and you can probably be in the next episode but yeah that's it so hope you guys enjoy so hq out now i gotta keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking part of guys later much love peace and uh i don't know about you but i feel like i did a good job so I'm, i i'm i did a good job i'll see you guys later <laughs>